Bartimaeus is a blind man. And they say in sacred scripture, the state of blindness represents the man who needs God's light, the light of faith, if he is to know reality and walk the path of life. Okay. The man who does not have faith does not know reality. He may know visible reality, but not the invisible reality. Because like we say, sight means two things. The sight in our body enables us to see what's visible. The sight in our soul enables us to see that which is invisible. So Bartimaeus is not only blind, but he's a beggar. It means he knows he is needy. And he cries out before God, um, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Um, and then he's kind of put to the test because the people around him say, be quiet, why don't you just blend in? But Bartimaeus only cries out the louder, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And that's humility. Because his desire for God is greater than his desire for human respect. He doesn't so much care what other people think as what God thinks. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And our Lord's response is, what do you want me to do for you? God puts himself at the service of the humble. And I want to see is his request. And he receives sight in body and in spirit. Uh, uh, sight to see that which is visible, um, faith to see that which is invisible. Um, and, and he follows Jesus. Um, so in the world today they say, the light of faith has grown dim and we've drifted away from God. We no longer consider God relevant for our lives. That's kind of the status of, of the world, this, the state of the union, okay? Uh, God is irrelevant. But Bartimaeus has lost the light and he knows it. That, that's the first, um, the first step to recovery, is to know we've lost the light. Pope Benedict Emeritus uh, he, the, um, says the uh, the blind man at Jericho has become the symbol of those who were once blind and now see. Okay, those who were once blind and now see. And Pope Emeritus Benedict says that the first actors on this journey of faith are the apostles. That it's they themselves whose eyes were first opened and are now on pilgrimage with Christ to the holy city. <clears throat> Um, Pope Benedict's words can be applied to the world today. Uh, people who have lost their true treasures. He, he seems to imply a, a reference to Europe. They've lost their faith, they've lost their treasure. Uh, and people in the United States too who have lost that, that gift. He says, um, they are in need of the new evangelization a new encounter with Christ, the son of the living God. And actually, we, we see many in the world today converting from atheism to Catholicism. It, it's um, like pretty shocking. Like one science fiction writer, a popular writer, John C. Wright, uh, says, I discovered that the death sentence under which all life suffered suffers no longer applies to me. The governor, so to speak, had phoned, okay? meaning that the gover governor had commuted his death sentence, okay? that his eyes were opened. He can see invisible realities beyond this world. I discovered that the death sentence under which all life suffers no longer applied to me. The governor, so to speak, had phoned. He says, my hatred toward Christianity eroded. I discovered the bankruptcy of atheism. For him, reason could no longer support atheism. The church says that knowing God's existence is an article of reason. 
Um, atheism is irrational, unreasonable. So, like we say, no, no longer could John C. Wright um, walk in the dark. Um, he says, I remember listening to a fellow atheist telling me how wonderful the world would be once religion was swept into the dustbin of history. I realized the chap knew nothing about history. If atheism solved all human woe, then the Soviet Union would have been an empire of joy and dancing bunnies instead of the land of corpses. He says, I saw and experienced part of the workings of a mind infinitely superior to mine, a mind able to count every atom of the universe. They say the gift of faith is a communion of the intellect with the divine vision, the uh, beatific vision. Um, and so for John Wright, he says, reason could no longer support his atheism. I would have to assume that all the great thinkers in history were fools. Another atheist blogger, a, 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 an extremely popular atheist blogger, Leo Labresco, sent shockwaves through the atheist blogosphere when she announced her conversion to Catholicism. The 22-year-old Yale graduate was pressed to define the connection between humanity and morality. And Le Leah said, I, I came up short. I don't know, I've got nothing. I guess morality just loves me. And from there, um, she entered into the Catholic Church shortly thereafter. Uh, another atheist, Sandra Elam, says, I had never heard of a culture of death, although I was drowning in it. There was a, a website called the, Wave, the Raving Atheist. And who would have thought that the man who wrote the Raving Atheist blog would have to rename his blog The Raving Theist? Again, his eyes were opened. Reason could no longer support atheism. Jen Fulweiler, another atheist, was asked how her life has changed since she entered the Catholic Church. She says, I wouldn't say so much that my life has changed as I would say my life has begun. And even recently with the um, Planned Parenthood undercover videos, uh, one article someone wrote, I don't know if I'm pro-choice after, after the Planned Parenthood videos. Reason could no longer support a pro-abortion position after someone sees those videos. Um, the, the author of that article, his wife said, you can't stand on the sidelines, especially now that you've seen these videos. These are babies that are being killed, millions of them, and you need to use your voice to protect them. That's what a man does. He protects children, his own and other children. That's what it means to be a man. The author, Ruben Navarrete Jr. says, I didn't like the scolding, but I needed to hear it. Um, and we say, we, we pray that many eyes will be opened that many will leave the darkness and follow the light who is Christ. We pray for those who have lost the light, that they may find it, and that, that it may lead them out of the darkness. And for those who have given the, been given the light of faith, that they may walk in humility in that light uh, and persevere in following the truth. We say, him who is the way, the truth, and the life.